I'm Professor Yasser Javed from LZ Salcourt. I welcome you in the next lecture. As you know that we have been learning about tenses, we have done present simple, we have also done past simple tense. Today, we are going to learn about future simple or future indefinite. If you are learning through translation method, I have written some hint here. Okay. If you are not Urdu speaker or Hindi speaker in English, there would be hints for you. If in the sentence the word tomorrow has been written, this will hint for future. The next week, the next day, in future, how to make this sentence. Okay. You are going to use will shall and after will shall you are going to use v1 first form of the verb and then the object. It's very easy. No second form, only v1. Go, come, speak, learn, teach, pass, fail. Right? You are going to use v1 after will shall. And if you are the student of graduation or postgraduate or you are doing your IELTS, you must know going to and about to, okay? Because most of the native speakers like to write sentences for future using going to. I'm going to meet my uncle after the lockdown is over. I'm going to buy a new car. Are you going to go with me after the lockdown? Okay, how about the about to? A thing, a happening that is about to happen in very near future. Okay, there is no planning, but in going to, you are going to have a plan. We are going to buy a new house next year. It means that you have made a plan, but here, it is about to rain. It's cloudy, so it's about to rain. Again, let me tell you the difference here that after subject will shall, whenever you are going to make future sense using will shall. Okay, no is them all. Will shall will convey the message of future. You are going to put V1. Whenever you are going to use going to and about to, again you are going to put V1, but here is the difference that you have to use is am I according to your subject. I am going to buy a new jacket for winter. You are going to kill your enemy. Okay. The postman is about to come. The doctor is about to check his patients. Right? So you have will shall good for future. You have going to, about to for future. Try to learn both will shall and going to, about to, to be better in your creative academic writing. Okay? Let's move ahead. How to make the positive sentences? Here I have written that you have to use will shall. Okay? If your subject is I and V, you are going to put shall. But remember, in the latest grammatical books, even some native speakers use will even for I, V. So it's easier to learn that whatever the subject, you are going to put will. So forget the shall. Okay? I will go to Lahore. I'm going to go to Lahore. I'm going to visit Lahore. Okay, gonna for slang language. Okay, I have written an example here. He will help the poor. Okay, remember there is no word poors. It's the poor showing plural, not singular. There is no word riches in English. Sheep, fishes, fruits. Right? Okay, he will speak the truth. Okay, ask him. He will speak the truth. He will tell you the reality of the case. Right? How to make it negative? You are going to use subject and after will shall, you are going to put not for negation, for negative. I have written an example. You can see 
he will not speak the truth means he will not tell the reality he is not going to tell you the truth he will tell a lie in other sense if you want to make it positive okay how to make it interrogative it's interrogative not interrogative interrogative you are going to put will shall in the beginning okay then subject v1 first form of the verb and then object and then the sign of interrogation will he not speak the truth means will he tell a lie will you buy new gloves okay will you help me in future will the government of pakistan help the poor and the needy right and the last but not the least if you want to make it interactive double interactive using wh words why where when what how whom the words like that that shows uh, the thing that is going to be asked okay then you are going to use wh words why where when what will shall subject v1 and then the object and in the end sign up interrogation when will you help me tell me the time i'm asking for help when will you help me okay when will you tell me the truth why will he not speak the truth okay here i have written the formula how to make double interactive using this tense at the end here is a practice exercise for you you have four options okay you have to check about the future tense only you are going to put will shall and v1 you can make a screenshot and then you can send me my whatsapp number is 00331465020 thank you very much see you soon for the next video